Oops. Hello everybody, good to see you. And today we're talking about our new redesigned mech helmet. And uh, we had a live stream yesterday, so people asked questions about this helmet. And I'm going to give you all the general information and also answer those questions so they might be you know, useful for everyone who is thinking about uh, buying some sort of new helmet. So that's how we are going to proceed. We have this helmet on the web for a while. And it's probably, you know, was time to redesign it to make it up to, you know, our modern arm street standards. This helmet is a part of our Paladin armor, so there is definitely, you know, there are definitely all other parts. And there is a gorge and everything else you can use with this helmet. But there are certain things that are special about this helmet. So it's a 15th century arm in particular Sparrow Beak helmet. And it's a very sophisticated, smart, late medieval design. And we redesign it in a way to make it more you know, comfortable and beautiful for our customers. So I will talk about what I love about this helmet, and then I will talk about you know, changes and recent you know, ideas in this design. So the first thing that is important about this helmet, and I love it very much, it's actually not big. It's not a bulky helmet. You can saw it even when I have it on me, just you know, without any armor. It doesn't look like you have this huge head on you, because of this uh, cheek plates. Let me show you. Yeah, there is a button. Yeah, because of these cheek plates, uh, it is possible to make this helmet, you know, close enough to your face, and this uh, visor actually protects your nose and you know, front of your face. So it's really very, you know, the size is very reasonable, so it feels good when you have it on you. The other thing, it's a very sophisticated design. So uh, it's obviously like a knight helmet. So it's mostly uh, knights used helmets like this for mounted combat. But it was a top-notch armor for the 15th century. So it was a very, you know, super cool, sophisticated, universal type of helmet. And we have uh, actually for, say, joisting and, you know, like a full contact combat, we have actually this button and this hook and both prevent this visor from going up. So even when I open this hook, it doesn't go up, so you need to press this button as well. And then it goes up. And it's still a very protective helmet because, you know, everything but, you know, the front of your face is actually still protected. So originally people used it in, in you know, this way to fight with a sword on ground and, you know, when they needed, you know, some to see everything and, you know, to have better ability to see things around them. And it's also useful when you're like in, on, you know, on some tournament or something, you just you know, take your visor, you know, up and you have, you know, you can, you can talk, you can drink, you can do whatever you want. Uh, so it's really, really, you know, smartly designed. And the third cool thing is actually you can use this helmet for almost everything from, you know, justing to AC to LARP to reenactment. So it's only the thickness of the metal what will define how you can use this helmet. And I love it so much as well. So when it comes to the changes, they are not actually super huge, but essential. So we redesigned the whole uh, system that locks the visor. And as you can see, this hook is massive. I basically love it very much. It's actually like, uh, really, you know, comfortable to deal with that, especially when you have gloves on your hands or something. And, you know, these massive elements of design, they actually look good. They look like serious. And so there is a massive hook and a massive, you know, 
uh, ring for the hook here. And this super cool button, which is actually historically accurate to lock the visor. And the whole shape is, you know, designed the way so it's kind of slim fit. So when it locks, it's actually like a one piece solid helmet with double layers, uh, double layer of metal here and overlap here. So it's really, you know, reliable and sturdy. There are brass and some uh, handmade brass rivets here. Uh, Rundle on the back, which is basically gave the name for the whole class of Armerandale helmets. Uh, and the whole, you know, shape and design are really nice. So, uh, plus our signature etching all over the helmet, but we mostly have etching on those elements that overlap, so it won't take anything from the protection. So it's kind of a good balance between, you know, beauty and protection in this helmet. And in my opinion, it's awesome. And surprisingly, it's really comfortable, really cozy. Plus that actually gives some extra comfort. We have this special liner inside that is specifically made for this helmet. So you can see that it's not only on the top, but everywhere inside the helmet, you will have this, you know, soft protective uh, liner. So you don't need anything. You just buy this helmet, you know, and you can put it on and go and fight. So it goes in stainless steel on the website and it's available in you know, 16, 14 and 12 gauge. But I think that if you have it in 14 gauge, it's a great helmet that actually works for everything. With this double layers on the front, it will work for Justin. It will definitely work for the SCA. It will work for live steel, different types of WMA. And it won't be really heavy and uncomfortable for LARP because like from my experience, I just tried that, that one of the most comfortable helmets, you know, just to have on your head. And with uh, this uh, visor that you can keep open, it's also a perfect like LARP helmet as well if your character is a knight or someone like that. So it's one of the most sophisticated, most smartly designed medieval helmets you can have and you can use for almost everything. And I love it about this.